Hi, this is Sarah Lee Visit, Girl with a Cane, and this is the video post for Maintenance Effort and Special Education in America. The special education budget in Ontario has been cut back further and further over several years, with very real effects on the education of kids with disabilities. It's nice to see different special education spending guidelines in America, even if it looked like there were going to be changes this year. It's all about the obligation to meet maintenance effort. A change at the federal level in maintenance effort. For non-Americans who don't know, education in the USA is managed at the federal level, as opposed to, say, Canada, where it's managed at the provincial or territorial level. Historically, American schools were required to meet maintenance effort when it came to American special education spending. Maintenance effort dictates that schools must maintain or increase what they spend on special education from year to year. However, the Education Department was prepared to release schools from the responsibility to meet maintenance effort this year without the fines that generally accompany a failure to meet maintenance effort for special education. The amount spent this year in a school would be its new benchmark for special education spending. And yet another change in special education spending. In response to a letter from Kathleen Boundy, the co-director for the Center for Law and Education, the Education Department has changed its mind yet again. Melody Musgrove, Director of the Office of Special Education, has rescinded the early decision and declared that schools must go back to meeting maintenance effort, which makes parents and advocacy groups very happy. But I'd like to let them in on a little secret that we've known in developmental services in Ontario for a long time and I'm sure a lot of other ministries in Ontario and Canada know as well. Meet me at camera three, advocacy groups. Maintenance is actually a cut. I know that we're all dealing with inflation and rising prices in a bad economy. Canadians and Americas need to keep on advocating for the funding that's going to allow us to keep on providing quality education for all children, not just children with disabilities. But you all know that, don't you? Giving credit where it's due. Excellent job, parents and advocacy groups and attorneys and Kathleen Boundy on getting the decision on not meeting maintenance effort reversed. Keep up the great work. It's a good day for special education in America. And that's all for today. Thanks for listening.